Yo, so you two's boy, the great Patriot here, DGP, back in with another episode of Patriot Keys. And yes, in this video, we're going to do a real quick, quick recap. We're not going to do a live stream. Um, I'm actually got to head off, off to do some work real quick. Um, so I won't be able to do a live stream. I'm just giving you guys this quick video before I actually head out there. Uh, pretty much talk about the Patriot game. You know, look at the score, 37. You're like, oh, the Patriots dominated them. The first half you watched it was atrocious. Second half, a totally different team. I don't know what happened. We snapped into it. Seemed like we got the run game going in the second half. Looked like we wanted to run the ball more. Uh, Sonny Michelle, you know, he actually went off. You know, people um been talking about, you know, he's been messing up a little bit this year. And I said without him having James Devlin, who was a really big impact, that, out, that meant a lot, you know, to, to deal with. And then, um, you know, with... Uh, James Devlin uh, being out, offensive lineman Isaiah Wynn out with injury. Uh, David Andrews, you know, he's still dealing with his issue. Uh, having that, you know, just kind of just him trying to get involved in the offense and trying to get going in the offense. He actually lined out outside wide receiver today, which was very impressive because you know in the off season uh, they were talking about um, him being a, being a, becoming a better pass catcher, and it kind of proved that today. You know, he was lined up outside wide a little bit more. Um, in terms of like I said, everybody the offense. First half, they get an F. They were terrible. Uh, defense just balled out again, except for that missed tackle. I think that was probably the only negative thing I could say about the defense today, uh, for the most part, was that 65-yard uh, touchdown that we gave up where we basically just missed, like, three, four tackles. The guys kind of was like, oh, he's going to go out of bounds, and he never did that. So uh, that was kind of the thing with the defense. But I think we had six, seven sacks this, today. Dante Hightower was the best player on the field today, man. He balled out with stuff in the run. You know, he missed last week, and it felt like, you know, he got that youth back going. It felt like that. It, it was a good week for Dante Hightower. So hopefully he can recover, be good for Thursday. And then we have another 10 day long break. Uh, let's, uh, you know, talk about more on the defense. Stephon Gilmore, you know, he, he hasn't looked as great as he has the past couple of years, but he's still doing a pretty decent job. Still doing good. Jonathan Jones to this thing. Um, Jason McCourty actually got a pick. It was a miscommunication thing with Colt McCoy. And again, just keep in mind, this is what the Redskins, man. They're terrible. They're probably going to end up firing Jay Gruden either this week or sometime this year. Hopefully this, this team is terrible. They're bad. They're 0-5 for a reason. Um, and so... Yeah, the defense, you know, balled out. They, but, you know, that's on the schedule. They balled out. They did their job. Um, offense, you know, second half, we finally got to go. And Brady threw a terrible interception in the second quarter. And I was like, bro, what are you doing? Falling away. Pressure got there in his face. And he just threw it up to his his uh, running back uh, out of wheel right. And we in the red zone, too, just trying to make a play happen, which he should have just threw out of bounds. It was third down. Let's go ahead, take the field goal, and um, go in there. But, you know, second half, I think he went 9 for 11, had about 150 yards, two TDs. Um, so, again, it was a totally different team in the second half, especially with the run game going. Uh, we actually got that going. And, again, the team was totally different. Julian Edelman, he played great today. He still played, he, you know, he played good enough uh, for the win, got a touchdown. He was, I seen him holding his chest throughout the game, so that lets me know that chest contusion is still bothering him. It leads me to question, will he be able to play for Thursday? Uh, now, I know, uh, is it a situation where they're like, you know what, it's the Giants. We potentially could still win without uh, Julian Edelman, although Philip Dorsett went out, was out today with a hamstring injury. So that begs the question, you know, maybe if Philip Dorsett was there and he was healthy, you know, will, will they have, you know, let Edelman rest? But I don't think they're going to be able to let Edelman rest with Philip Dorsett hurt. I don't think Philip Dorsett might, might not be able to play uh, Thursday just because they might take it as, you know what, quick turnaround. He's a little bit banged up. Let's go ahead. Let's get two, basically two weeks of recovery for him. Um, and I thought they might have wanted to do that with Edelman had Dorsett not been hurt. to be like, you know what, Edelman, you've been having problems with your chest. Get you about two weeks, you know, so you can get going and everything. So hopefully, you know, Thursday, uh, Edelman doesn't have to do too much. We can get kind of get a little bit healthy and, uh, you know, this is a quick turnaround. Um, so like I said, Sonny Michelle did his thing. James White getting better. Brandon Bolden was in the offense. He even scored the touchdown on the wheel route. Um, offense line. Got better as the game went along. They were struggling with a three man pass rush. Like it, and it wasn't no situation. I think it was like might have been one sack that we go in or two sacks that was like a cover sack. And I'm not talking about that, but it was like a few times like the three man pass rush just got to Brady like in an instant. Like Brady was moving around the pocket a little bit. So that's something that concerns me the offensive line. Uh, talk about kicking. Mike Nugent came in, missed his first extra point, the first kick he made in the Patriot uniform this year. And I was like, oh boy, here we go again. But 
And, you know, he turned around. Uh, I think he hit one off the post. I think it was an extra point. And, like, later in the game, he hit off the post. Uh, but he still made it. Uh, but after that, you know, he kind of slowly got it going. And it seemed like this team, uh, as the game went along, it seemed like in the beginning they just played down to the competition. But then they slowly got it going and the game went on. And by the time second half hit, you know, Redskins, you know, they, they pretty much was like, I mean, they were like, we're still in this. But once we got it rolling, they was just like, yeah, we knew this was going to happen. Patriots started clicking. And, um, yeah. So, we got to give a grade to, you know, quick people. Offensive line, got to give y'all a C. Tom Brady, he gets a C minus, you know, tail of two different halves. He gets a C minus. Uh, running backs, they get a B, B plus. Um, wide receivers, I'm going to give them a B minus. Uh, if you got to go to the defensive line, defensive line is going to go ahead and get an A, actually. They did a pretty great job. Uh, Linebacker and core, I'm going to give them an A as well. They did a pretty great job. Calvin, Noy, Dante, Hightower, all over the field today. Just loving it. Uh, the secondary, I'm going to have to get the secondary a B today. You know, they were one of the reasons why we gave it that touchdown because once they got to the second level, it was the McCourty uh, twins missing tackles. Uh, who else was it? I think it might have been... I remember Jonathan Jones, too, that didn't want, want to go ahead and tackle. It, 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 it is what it is. Um, but, you know, they get a B. Kicking, I got to give, you know, Jake Bailey, he gets he gets probably a B plus. You know, he, he, don't, he did all right. He did good. You know, nothing too much, nothing too bad. And Mike Nugent, I'll give him a B. Although he missed that extra point, he turned around and made the rest of the kick. So, uh, just, just looking at that, I just know playoff time comes. Uh, you know, I'll have to see more how Mike Nugent is, but just, you know, just me knowing, like, when it comes to playoff time, uh, you want Gaskowski, you want a Justin Tucker, you want an Adam Vinatieri, you want those type of guys that's been there, that's done that, that is cold-blooded in those situations. And so now with Gaskowski out, it's like, dang, when we get in the playoffs, we can't do I, I don't think we should be depending on our kicker to make a, you know, clutch field goal or whatever. We got we got to go out there and knock them out. And, you know, it's it, it sucks because as Patriot fans for the past decade, my whole life being a Patriot fan, we've had Adam Vinatieri, we have Steven Gaskowski. Even when they struggle, like in the regular season or even in playoff games where they're struggling, we always knew that if it came down to a kick, that's the guy we wanted. You know, Adam and Terry in the uh, Panthers Super Bowl missed two. I think he missed two kicks and got one kick blocked. Was terrible that game. But guess what? When it all came down to it, he hit the game when the field goal got scouts. I know he's he's, str he's been struggling, especially since the AFC Championship game versus Denver. But, you know, he even missed some kicks in the uh, Falcons Super Bowl. But when it comes down to it, you know, against the Rams uh, last year, who do we want kicking that field goal? Steven Goskowski made it. Like, you know, and he was, he's been struggling. But, you know, those are the type of, those are the type of things you got to look out for. Um, but, yeah, whole game. If we got to go to first half, first half <laughs> were terrible. Second half was good. We got the Giants next up, Daniel Jones. Uh, you know, Belichick typically uh, dominates rookie quarterback, so it'll be a quick turnaround. We'll see how it goes with that. Saquon Barkley, I don't think he's going to play. They said he might be able to play with a high ankle sprain. Uh, they Like somebody said that today, uh, had today been a playoff game, he would have played today. So does that. Sorry about that, y'all. My phone stopped, you know, recorded or whatever. Just It basically just stopped working. My phones are stupid. Um, <laughs> but I was basically saying Saquon Barkley, is he going to play this week? Who knows? They said if it was a playoff game, he would play uh, if that was today. But uh, we'll see. But, again, we got the Giants next up. And I can't wait. It's going to be an interesting game. Going to see how it is. And um, this is your boy, DGP. I'll catch you next time, y'all. Peace.